Hey, Robert, you know, I had a lot of chances to speak with you over the course, you know, heading up to this fight. So since we're at this beautiful location today, I'm going to ask you, when are you going to take a vacation? I haven't asked you in a while. Look, uh, we've, we've always, we always try to make plans with my wife and my kids. And, uh, and our plan was, you know, to take one for the holidays, December, New Year's. But now at the, at the, uh, at the stage where we're at, it might be, we might have to be doing training camp with uh, some of my fighters, maybe even Mikey. So those plans have to <laughs> wait a little bit longer. There's just no time, just no time. The RGBA family cruise with everybody? Yeah, you know, we try to do it as much as, as much as we can, but with so many fighters and so many big fights, you know, that we just don't have the time. Maybe that might be a good idea. Rent out a cruise ship, put a gym on the cruise yeah, ship, and take all the fighters with you. I have to do that, because uh, that's the only way I'll be able to take a, to take a little vacation. Honestly, it, 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 is, uh, it is hard, especially when you have, you know, you have the wife and the kids that uh, that also want to experience different things, and uh, it's hard when we can't make it happen. Our GBA cruise lines, you heard it. Think about it, yeah, you brought it up, so I might do that. You know, and here we are, you have another um, opportunity to work with Richard Schaefer. Are we inching that much closer to seeing Mikey Garcia possibly signing, or is he still happy being independent? Look, I think Mikey's going to stay uh, as a free agent, but... You know, working with Richard Sheffer is, is a blessing. You know, the work that he does with, with promotion and, 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 and uh, the work that he did when he was with Golden Boy was unbelievable. I, th I think Richard Sheffer is a great great promoter and, and, and you know, slowly uh, becoming the, the promoter that he was when, when he was promoting with, with Golden Boy, you know. He, uh, he's great, you know, but, uh, but, you know, there's also many other promoters that are also great, you know. Top Brand has been around for 60 years and, you know, they, they've been promoting great fights. De La Hoya does a great job with Canelo and, and did a great job while promoting with Mayweather and, and, and so many other fighters. So You know, I heard my colleagues before me ask you about Marcos Maidana. Marcos Maidana is living his best life and I want to go kick it with Marcos Maidana. <laughs> what was the last conversation you had with him and what did you guys talk about? The last time I seen him and talk and hang out with him was when uh, when Mark, when Mark uh, Mayweather fought uh, no, no, my bad, again. Uh, when Canelo fought Chavez. Mm -hmm. It was in, in May, and uh, you know he's always a great guy. We we uh, we sat down for a few hours at the bar, had a few drinks. You know, great great person, man. Great friend. Uh, I love Chino. You know, he uh, is a great not only a great family man, but a great friend also. He still has a lot of friends that are RGBA people, RGBA guys. He's still in touch with some with with a lot of them, and uh, he's always going to be part of our team. You know, he he gave me some great wins, great victories, good titles. So he's always going to be one of my, my favorites. What's he doing? What's he down there doing? I mean, we know he's grubbing, but besides that, what's Marcos Maidana doing at home? Enjoying life, you know, enjoying <laughs> life. I think I, I would I would probably, if, if, if I see him, I'd probably recommend him to maybe get up in the mornings and do a little bit of road work, maybe maybe just just walk, walk for a couple miles, just for his own for his own health, you know. But uh, but he's enjoying life, you know. He, he lives in the country. He's got a great family, you know, so can't blame him. I saw another one of you guys recently. I saw Kelly Pavlik down in Vegas. He's looking pretty good, too. You know, did you have a chance to catch up with him? I've been, I've been in touch with, with Kelly Pavlik. I've been on his, on his show a couple times, and uh, i seen him in New York for Mikey Broner, and uh, he's a great guy, man. He's doing really good. He looks so healthy. He told me he's been doing so good for a couple of years already, and I'm very happy for him. You know, he uh, he had a great career. He's, man, if you ask my son, he's, that, Kelly Pavlik is his, uh, his favorite middleweight in, in history. You know, Kelly Pavlik was a great fighter, man. So once you guys leave here today, lastly, what, what's on the agenda for the rest of the day? Rest, make weight tonight, you know, just to be ready for tomorrow, a couple of pounds, that's it. And uh, hopefully everything goes well. You know, everybody everybody in, in, in this card uh, is going to have to go through the same. You know, they have to make weight, but uh, hopefully everybody does it the right way and they don't have to kill themselves too much because I know what it is. I know what it's like to, to be starving and to be thirsty. Did you, oh, one last thing, speaking of cutting weight, did you see this video that's floating around with the guy kind of, where is, where, do you know where that took place? That was so sad. I have, I have no idea, but the commission, instead of allowing him to win, the commission should have sent him to the hospital. I, I've seen the video and I, it kind of, you know, gets me mad to see that trainers would even take their fighter to, to the scale like that, you know, send him to the hospital. That's where the kid needs to be, right? <laughs> All right, thank you.